from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. An Australian man had his big toe transplanted in place of a lost thumb. And it works fine, but his hands keep getting athlete's foot. An arbitrator has ruled that American runner Gil Roberts, who won a gold medal at the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio, met his burden of proof to show kissing his girlfriend caused him to fail a drug test. On Friday, Scooby Axon of Sports Illustrated noted Roberts said he was frequently and passionately kissed by his girlfriend in the days before the test and she'd been taking a sinus infection medicine, which he said caused the failed test. Are you all, forget the, 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 the drug test thing. Who names their kid Scooby Axon? Tall conservative columnist Ann Coulter got annoyed Saturday after Delta Airlines bounced her from the reserved Comfort Plus seat, which comes with three additional inches of legroom, and gave it to another passenger. Coulter went on a two-hour tweeting tirade that had another Twitter user who was clearly not a fan of the columnist writing, Ann Coulter is having a bad day, which makes my day better. Thanks, Delta. It could have been worse, though, Ann. You could have been flying United and been reaccommodated with a bloody nose and a concussion. Your research seems to indicate Ravens can plan ahead. Baltimore Ravens, for example, are already planning not to make the playoffs. Wildlife experts in Alaska say that humpback whales have learned that they can get a great meal if they hang around a salmon hatchery the day hatchlings are released. It's kind of like me out in the mornings waiting for the donut shop to open. The source of the honey coming from a ceiling of a New York woman's apartment was 35,000 bees inside the wall. The story is all the buzz over the internet. Some people are expressing fears that Amazon is getting too big. Those same people are getting messages from their computer that their thinking is wrong. Cooking schools may soon be a thing of the past. Enrollment in culinary institutes across the country is in serious decline, and some cooking schools have announced they're closing. So what's to blame? Well, high tuitions, low student aid, more restaurant positions that provide on-the-job training, and a demanding millennial workforce. Although I'm sure watching Gordon Ramsay scream at all the chefs he comes across probably isn't a big selling point either. Police in Germany are searching for thieves who now possess enough cleaning products to have sparkling clean urinals for life. A truck driver parked his vehicle in a lot and went to catch some sleep. When he checked his truck early the next morning, he found that the back door to the cargo area was open. Someone stole six pallets of urinal cakes, 500 cases in all, worth thousands of dollars. My, my true hope is that, that the crooks are just so dumb they think the urinal cakes are actual cakes and try to consume them. Mmm, minty! The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 will be unveiled next month. However, they are avoiding using the phrase, hot off the presses. Authorities say more than 400 pounds of marijuana has been found in 15 new cars made in Mexico and shipped to Ohio and Pennsylvania to sell. Gee, I wonder what the Mexico to America currency exchange rate is for that. If you want to boost your creativity, paint the walls of your office blue. If you want to enhance your memory, immerse yourself in red. A study from the University of British Columbia concludes that the best color to boost our ability to think creatively is blue. In addition, it found that red is the most effective at enhancing our attention to detail, findings that could have major implications for advertising and interior design. The study results found that red boosted performance on detail-oriented tasks such as memory retrieval and proofreading by as much as 31 percent compared to the color blue. For creative tasks such as brainstorming, blue environmental cues prompted participants to produce twice as many creative outputs as when under the red color condition. So, all right, so what color do you paint the walls to keep you from falling asleep at the office? Well, whatever color that is, that's what I need. A new poll finds President Trump has the lowest approval rating in history for a president after six months in office. But enough about what the media thinks of him. New York City is launching a $32 million plan with the hopes of reducing the city's rat population. First up, removing Bill de Blasio. A mall in China has introduced husband storage facilities for wives to leave their spouses while they shop. I love this idea. 
The mall has erected a number of glass pods for wives to leave any disgruntled husbands that don't want to be dragged around. Inside each individual pod is a chair, monitor, computer, and gamepad, and men can sit and play retro 1990s games. You know, suddenly now, going shopping with my wife doesn't sound like it'd be all that torturous. Who uses Facebook the most? The most active Facebook users are people who post almost nothing. Call them the lurkers. Although they rarely update their own status, the quiet ones stay logged on to Facebook longer than anyone else, reading their friends' posts and looking at their friends' photos. Facebook calls them lurkers. The rest of society calls them stalkers. Surgeons found no less than 27 contact lenses stuck in a woman's eye while preparing her for cataract surgery. The lenses, which resembled a bluish mass in the 67-year-old patient's eye, were causing the woman discomfort that she simply attributed to dry eye and old age. Rupal Morjaria, a specialist trainee ophthalmologist who dealt with the case near Birmingham, England, told Optometry Today, "...none of us have ever seen this before. It was such a large mass. All the contact lenses were stuck together. We were really surprised that the patient didn't notice it because it would cause quite a lot of irritation while it was sitting there." The patient said she'd been wearing monthly disposable contact lenses for 35 years but did not attend regular appointments. So just a heads up, if you wear monthly disposable contact lenses, you're supposed to remove them and dispose of them before putting new contacts in. Hence the term disposable. Please support my channel by sharing the daily dose of weird news on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!